Hello everyone, uh, so welcome to the beginning of the uh, second version of my uh, Daggerfall Let's Play. I'm having to discontinue um, the last one due to some problems I had with my microphone and I'd recorded basically three hours of footage uh, without any sort of a commentary track, so I'm sorry about that, but it, it shouldn't take us too long to catch up. Anyhow, as before, we're going to play quite an intelligent character, Altmer. We're going to cl call our class Necromancer. Going to play someone with higher intelligence and willpower, and a slight deficiency in agility, strength, endurance, and speed. Okay, so our primary skills. Uh, destruction magic is good for do dealing damage to enemies, transferring their health, fatigue attributes to you. So therefore very helpful. Uh, alteration is going to be our next uh, primary for uh, slow falling and uh, such. Thaumaturgy is going to be our final primary for s spell effects like levitation, uh, walk water walking. And for our secondaries, uh, we're going to have illusion and, you know, for invisibility spells and that sort of thing, chameleon spells. Uh, we're going to have restoration so we can heal ourselves ably, and we're going to have mysticism. There are some really nice mysticism spells that make your uh, game a whole lot easier, such as the ability to recall yourself to your quest givers and things. It just cuts out a lot of travelling time and makes your life a damn sight easier. So on the tertiary skills, uh, we're going to pick some long blades, uh, short blades, uh, so we can defend ourselves, and bladed weapons are favourites of mine, dodging to take less damage. We're going to pick swimming so that we can move in water. If you don't pick swimming straight off, then you end up with a guy who can barely move as soon as his feet touch the water. Uh, we're going to take lock picking so we can eventually get good at opening doors, and we're going to take uh, hand to hand just because sometimes it's satisfying to punch an annoying enemy in the face, so much more so than cutting them up. So anyway, uh, as before, we're going to want increased majory for um, the maximum pool of spell points available and health regeneration and we're going to take uh, spell absorption as well. So as you can see, uh, this doing it this way it would take us almost three times as long to advance our, um, our skills and it would mean we'd level up quite slowly so I'm going to balance this with some disadvantages. I'm going to take a critical weakness to disease and a critical weakness to paralysis which is actually a cheat if you're an Altmer. Um, not so much a cheat, but it's just a bit of an exploit in the code, but uh, Altmer are completely immune to paralysis, but it doesn't stop you from taking the critical weakness to it. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select a bunch of forbidden materials, so steel, silver, elven, which is strange for an Altmer, as before. We're going to have a Forbidden Material a Dwarven, and we're going to have Forbidden Material Mithril. Now, uh, as you can see, we're now levelling up so fast that the game does not... Well, we're outside of the, uh, the margin our skill would basically advance so fast that the game would be a walk in the park. So. How we get around this is we give ourselves a few more hit points. There, now, that's uh, up to 25 hit points per level basic, plus whatever bonus we get from endurance. And uh, and that's our class, that's us com uh, completed. So uh, I'm still going to do the 12 career decisions because uh, if you, I don't want to randomise my chance of getting an ebony dagger. So uh, after the College of Destruction I have been studying restoration. What motivates you into life of adventure? Um, hmm. Knowledge, we shall see. In between formal study, we spent our time learning street smarts, economic economics. 
get better prices for things as before. Uh, since childhood, you have saved. I uh, mm, what have I saved? A favorite book. And gratitude for services rendered, the emperor gave you an ebony dagger. Thank you. It's almost essential that thing because uh, some of the harder enemies are um, resistant to all materials below a certain quality. And ebony is about uh, only Orkish and Daedric are better than ebony, so that'll just give you a better shot at it. As you grew older, you received additional magical training in I'm going to say mysticism. As a child, your nickname was hmm. What was my nickname as a child? Uh, Monkey. We'll see. It's, you're friendlier than most with uh, the Daedra, I think. All disagreeable types you have the most personal hatred for. I do not like power mad robber barons and intimate friends with an assassin. Yes. What god, if any, do you worship? Uh, we're going to go with Akatosh. You have the most trouble uh, avoiding diseases. We've already established that. So, uh, reputation to begin with will be unchanged with any of the uh, sort of a major macro factions within the game. Name ourselves. I'm, I'm just going to stick... The, this is the name I use for most of my uh, roleplay game characters. So we're going to go for... Before we were wild and unkempt, I'm going to go for this uh, more groomed look today. And we're going to just do this dice rolling thing until we get some... Okay, this doesn't look bad at all, so this will allow us to boost these up to a decent Right. I'm going to make us a little bit tougher so that we get a little bit uh, faster healing rate and more hit points and I'm going to boost our encumbrance by raising our strength ok so this is our main character sheet for uh, stats we can now spend some points to increase our skills I'm not going to raise destruction any higher and just going to try and even things out between all their various skills so we don't have so many um, over focusing or um, we want a nice rounded character so we're not too uh, over specialised and very high reflexes is the way to go so this is our character sheet, we're all done. I'm just going to skip through these um, cutscenes because they're all in the last video. Okay, so uh, you wake and look around the room. Some hours ago you were in a boat, en route to Daggerfall, when a storm of supernatural strength boiled over the Iliac Bay like a malefic creature. Your boat was destroyed, but you managed to swim through the churning water to a promontory rock there you found a cave and escaped the fury of the storm. You'd only just lit a small fire when a mudslide sealed you within. Your fear of being buried alive calmed when you saw the corridor leading out of the cavern. Perhaps there is a way out of this cave after all. Once free of the cave, you can begin the Emperor's quest. Uh, well, we don't need the tutorial. I'll pretty much talk through everything. So, um... First things first, I'll just check my control methods. Yep, I've, I'll need to reset all of this, so apologies for that. Let's see. 
Yes, yes, this is fairly good. So I'm just going to fix the um, user interface. I don't like that bar at the bottom. So anyway, let's go in and have a look at our inventory. Don't tuck your shirt in, man. Be cool. So we got our iron longsword and ebony dagger. We have our spell book. Two books. Banker's Bet and uh, Wayrest Jewel of the Bay. Banker's Bet's worth a read, by the way. It's uh, it's quite good. <laughs> Maybe I'll uh, what I'll do. I'll open this uh, book up so that you guys can you can just have a freeze frame and read your way through this. Um, like one of these funny jokes or stories that uh, you know just. Honestly, read, freeze frame and read through it if you can. It's it's hilarious. And um, oh my! <laughs> uh, that's one of the more sort of a fight, sort of a historical, factual kind of stories, but uh, anyway, so here we are. We've been buried in with this cave in, uh, some sort of mudslide, and we're in some cave, and we're going to try and find our way out via this corridor up here. We're in Privateer's Hold. It is late o'clock on Turdus the Fourth of Morningstar. And we are a common citizen in the eyes of the law of Daggerfold. And we're healthy. Yes, that's us. Well, if anyone's in here, they must have heard that. Oh well, there's some armour here. 
loving the helmet. So, uh, we're 46 gold pieces to the good, plus anything else. Don't want to carry the claymore with me, it's probably very heavy. Um, so we'll just carry on and... Whoa! There's a little bit of glitching through the scenery there, but that's okay. Because everything's 2D sprites and the sense of perspective kind of gives you some odd graphical effects sometimes. Who are you? It doesn't matter. I'm gonna shock you until you're dead. And if that doesn't work, I'm gonna stab you. I'll have that. Buckler. Nah, we'll just leave it in the steel. Not worth carrying. Or, alright, we'll take this saber, it's not too heavy. Um, what we'll do is we'll switch out. Uh, there's a couple of rats in this next room, as you might remember from our previous playthrough. So, um, a big strong adventurer type, even though I'm actually not that strong. Or I'll be in an alt or I'll be big, but I start in character school, really not that strong. Really not that well trained in fighting. Completely out of spell points. Well, more or less. Practically out of spell points. I can't cast any of the spells I know. So, uh, that takes care of them. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're just going to go back into the, the corridor. And we're going to find some place to rest. And it's getting about time for us to make a break in our recording so I can check the first video out. So. So there's an enemy nearby. We'll deal with we'll deal with that first. And this one must be behind us. Okay, so that is odd. Anyway, as I was saying, I'll make a break in recording here so I can go back and check things and. Having done that, if everything looks okay, then, uh, then we'll carry on. So, thanks for watching, and uh, check back in for the next video. See you next time.